guys, so today I have a little bit of a first impression slash review and demo video for you. Um, back when I went to Ulta and did my little haul, you guys requested a review on this NYX push-up bra for eyebrow like pencil duo set. So I'm really excited. I have yet to try it and I bought this a while ago. I've been waiting for a time to like film it because I really am curious. Yeah, so I didn't fill in my brows today. Um, they're naturally pretty full, but I like to fill in the, um, the arch and the end a little bit. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's a duo pencil. This side has the, um, a brown color for penciling in the brow. And then over here is like a pink undertoned concealer, which will go under the brow to kind of emphasize the brow, clean it up, and also kind of give a highlight to your brow bone. And the color is one size fits all, and I'll swatch it for you. This is the color it comes out to be. It's a relatively delicate, like, semi-light brown. If you have super black brows, I wouldn't recommend this. But um, I think it would work relatively well for, like, blondes, too. It, it's, like, it's really not, not very dark, which is good because I don't like my brows to be crazy dark anymore. So I'm just going to start by penciling them in, and um, then we'll move on to the highlight after. I just like to go in light feathering motions, kind of just enough to like lightly dash on the color and as you can see I just kind of added a little bit more of my arch because my waxer took off a little too much of my arch so I wanted to draw that back on. Um, as for the color, as you can see I'm rubbing over it and it has a pretty good hold to the skin so that's good. Like nothing rubbed off on my finger. So that's good. Nice, good color pickup and hold. I will say the consistency of this is um kind of... It almost feels not waxy, but it's not like thick and heavy like an eyeliner because I know a lot of people like myself sometimes like to use um, an eyeliner pencil for your eyebrows and that can feel a little bit like thick and um, kind of heavy and it like kind of doesn't work well with the hairs, but this is more of a light formula and I find that it glides onto the eyebrows like super, super easily as you can see. So now I'm going to take the highlighter. I'll swatch that for you as well. This is... Definitely heavier than the eyebrow part, as you can see there. It's a very pink undertoned color. So again, if you don't have the right skin tone for this, this is a one size fits all pencil. So if you think this color would be way, way too light for you, I would not recommend. And the consistency is more thick, but it's very blendable. As you can see, I swatched it, but then I blended it in. It's here and it blended into the skin really beautifully. It's got kind of a more creamy consistency rather than waxy. So now I'm just going to highlight under the brow that I just did. I just blend it in with my finger. Now I'm going to just step back and you can kind of see if that you can see a difference. This one has the highlight underneath and this one does not. So if you step back, um, this kind of pops a little bit more for sure. It definitely helps to clean up the brow, especially, you know, if you get a little bit of color fallout or just a little bit outside the lines, you can kind of clean that up with the highlight. But yeah, I definitely see a difference. So I'm just going to do that to the other brow. Yeah, I just find that that really helps to clean it up and brighten the overall look. Highlight is something that I love, especially under the brows, and like just to clean it up a little bit. It's kind of nice to have the duo together in one just to make it simple and kind of help the steps go quickly together. And if you want to highlight further than just under the brow, this highlight can be used in other places. I already have my full face of makeup on, so I'm not going to be using it. But um, another place you could highlight in the inner tear ducts of the eye, you could highlight any under eye bags. 
this is probably one of like the really good highlighters for cleaning up makeup if you want to you know do a sharp winged look and it gets a little bit messy you could just draw this right on and clean that up I like how it comes in pencil form so it's got the point on the end so that's awesome it's nice and clean and sharp and precise but yeah overall I actually really really like this for a first impression I would definitely repurchase because I'm always trying new brow routines and I've used everything from gel to powder to pencil and I really like this combination and I believe this was very inexpensive. I think this retailed for $10 or less which is very good considering there's a lot of high-end brow kits. NYX is always a reliable, fabulous brand, probably my absolute favorite makeup brand. I absolutely adore it. So if you go to your local Ulta and you're looking to try you know, a new brow routine, I would definitely go for this, but make sure that this highlight isn't way too, um, like, light for your skin tone, but it blends very, very well. That's the only downfall probably to this product is that it only comes in a one-size-fits-all. That's the only, only downfall I could probably say. I wish they had a couple other shades, but for me, this works, so I'm happy. If you guys have any comments about the NYX Push-Up Bra Eyebrow Kit, then please comment below and let me know, and I hope you enjoyed this review and demo and first impression. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.